If you don't know, you're about to know right now. You're about to learn. Education. I'm Quindell Evans, BluePoetry.com. Welcome to the Blue Poetry Podcast. The podcast where we speak about the habits that it takes to create a successful life and the habits that it takes to break through and overcome a stressful life. You feel me then? This podcast is the ears version. The ears version is the explanation and reason for my songs. E, explanation, A, and R, reasons, S, songs. The explanation and reasons for my songs podcast. Y'all know I do the acronyms, you feel me, the mouth book, you know, the, all different types of stuff. But that is the acronym, you know, GOLO, Get her Over, All Life Obstacles, Blue, Black Love Unites Everyone. I like to do acronyms all the time, you feel me? Holla at me. Actually, if you want me to do an acronym for you, I'll do it. You know, because that's what I like to do. Send me your name, and I'll make an acronym out of your name. You know, email bluepoetry at gmail.com or DM bluepoetry and just say, yo, you make an acronym out of my name, and I'll do it. I'll make a nice little picture for it, too, for you. Something, something light, like, you know, because I like to do the acronyms. Or if you got somebody you want me to do an acronym, you know, out of their name for you, you know, so like a little gift or something like that, we, I'll do that, too, you know. I do the acronyms, you feel me? On this podcast, though, on this version of the podcast, we're going to do the explanation and reason for my song called Stop Guessing. Um, Stop Guessing is off my first take called Give Them More, track five, featuring now the poet. Um, But I'm going to just explain my verse, you know, Um, because, yeah, I wrote my verse (laughs) for Stop Guessing, and he's already just had a whole... He had a whole verse done that's kind of unrelated to the song. But that ain't, you know what I'm saying? I can only explain my verse anyway, regardless of that. Um, but yeah, it's called Stop Guessing. Um, but before we start, you know how I got to do it. You know, it don't feel right without popping off the affirmation plug, but I'll be able to do an Oye Wole. So let's go. I want to be what I can be to be proud. Healthy and free, I want to say what I know to help my brothers and sisters grow. I want to feel good about me and blame no one for my misery because I'll be strong and turn it around. I want to go up, I'm not going down. I want to do what I can do to make all my dreams come true. Remember my past, the good and bad, how I made it art, even when it was sad. I want to share whatever my gift. And when you're feeling low, I give you a lift. I want to live without fear and know that I'm blessed for being here. You know that you're blessed for being here. Just know that we're blessed for being here. Just know that we're blessed. All right, then. That's the affirmation pledge. Now let's get on to Stop Guessing. The name of the song is called Stop Guessing. And it's about, uh, I'll just explain the lyrics and you'll figure out what it's about. You feel me? Stop Guessing. The, the beat was made by Real Chris. You feel me? And the, the it starts off with saying, me saying, you know, if you listen to the track, you're going to hear the track after this. We're saying, we'll be back in a second. We're coming back for a second. We got to re-up on these weapons. And it sounds like it's a bell, you know, in the song, like a thong, a gong. And the reason I'm saying that, we'll be back in a second. We're coming back for a second. We got to re-up on these weapons because at the time, I used to uh, rock this sweater with the um, saying, I should say danger educated black man. Um, and it's because I kind of felt like at the time, I don't feel like that right now, I kind of felt like, you know, when you educated and, and you knowledgeable about what's going on in society and you want to make a change, it's like you a danger to society, you know. When you're trying to make a change, you're a danger to the people that want to remain the same, you know. So that means, like, your mind is a weapon, you know. I don't feel like that right now. I feel like your, my mind is a tool you know, to to fix things. Not a weapon that's going to destroy or break things. But that's interchangeable, you feel me? That's really interchangeable. Because if you're going to build something, 
you know, like if you're going to build something using the tool, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of parody of destroying, you feel me? Like if there's a, if, you know, I don't know, to build and destroy, I kind of feel like an equal. If I'm going to build something on land and I'm destroying what the land is, how the land is, is originally, how the land originally is, you feel me? In a way, you know, to build on something is to kind of destroy what already is there, you know, in a way, you know, destroying the space that already is there. But that is just, you know, playing both sides, you know, to, to destroy is to build, to build is to destroy, kind of, you know. So our mind is a weapon, though. So we have the ability to destroy something. If you feel like something needs to be destroyed, destroy it, you know, in a way. If you have, if you feel like something needs to be built, build on it. You know, so that's that's why I said that in the beginning. But the chorus is, stop guessing, don't question, my flow is destined. Stop arresting my brethren for your collection. Find something better than messing with folks that's better. My folks' gold, souls glow, we gold setters. So stop guessing, don't question, my flow is destined. It's like, you know, don't assume you know what, you know, I'm... Don't assume you know my path. Don't assume you know, you know, what 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 my destiny is, you know. And I'm speaking to the the police officers. Like, stop guessing. Don't question my flow is destined. Like, you know, because I'm black, you know, because I'm I I'm, I live in a hood, you know, because I'm you know because I'm what you might call a minority because I might fit a description. Don't guess. Don't be assuming that I'm a criminal. Don't be assuming that I'm, you know, a gang member. Don't be assuming that I'm a menace to society and all of that. Like, chill. Stop guessing. Don't question. My flow is destined. Like, stop guessing. Like, I know that my destiny is great. I know that I'm, that I'm not destined to be a statistic like how some of you might think, you know? And... It might be your job to look at me in a certain light, to look at me in a certain way, to think that I'm going to, you know, to think like everybody that you're going to, that everybody that you're seeing in this community, you working, you know, you're a police officer, you work in the hood. It might be your job to be skeptical of every black man you see that look a certain way, but chill. Like, this is, you know, chill. Don't, don't do that to me. You feel me? So that's what that is about. And then I go on to say, stop arresting my brethren for your collection, you know, because... This was around a time when I first started working in Rikers Island teaching poetry workshops. And ain't nothing but blacks in there. So it's just like, like, this is, y'all just, it just felt to me, I took a person, like, y'all just collecting us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't saying there's nothing but blacks in there. It's a few, it's a few um, other, you know, there might be a few Hispanics and a, a, a dab of, um, you know, whites, but ain't number blacks in there. So it's like, stop arresting my brethren for your collection. Like, y'all just tallying up on us. Y'all just collecting quota type vibe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from the hood, and like, I, I, I don't, I can't, I, I can say that like, I've seen, you know, at the train stations. If you don't know about the train stations, you know, and how they are getting a lot of arrest off these, of fear of Asia. Right now in New York City, the number one leading cause of arrest is fear of Asia. The cops will stand at the, stand behind and behind the door, hiding behind the staircase or something, watch and wait for someone to hop over the turnstile or walk through the gate, you know, evade the fear, not pay. And they'll arrest them, you know, like, they'll arrest them. Sometimes they let them off with a ticket. But most of the time, most, majority of the time, they're arresting them. That's the number one leading cause of arrest right now in New York City. And the majority of the people, like 92% of the people who are arrested from fair evasion are black. So, 
I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but, bruh, I didn't, I, I stood at the train station and, and not in the hood, and LES, <laughs> um, first half, L train stop, and I, I seen the undercover cops there waiting for someone to hop, and I've seen literally, literally, like, I've seen four non-black people evade a fare, and the cops let them go by, and then I've seen a black guy evade a fare and get stopped with my own eyes. I'm just like, this is, this is amazing. You feel me? Like, this is amazing. I don't know. I don't know if they targeting. I don't know. But if I could see four black, if I could see four non-blacks hop, y'all could see them. You don't act like y'all didn't see them. You feel me? But only saw this guy. So, like, I've seen it. You feel me? And regardless of that, regardless of that, I've also seen on, like, in, like, upper Manhattan, like, 86th Street, you know, because I'm on the trains. Like, I used to be on the trains a lot, singing on the trains, hustling on the trains. So I've seen a lot on the trains. On 86th Street, I've seen a non-black woman hop the train, evade a fare. They stopped her, talked to her for about a minute or two. I don't know what they said, and they ain't even give her a ticket, nothing. They just let her off. And I'm just like, hmm. If this was in Brownsville, they would have got arrested or at least a ticket, you know? So I've gotten arrested personally for evading a fare. And I ain't even hopped the train. You know what I mean? Like I ain't even get I ain't even get over the turnstile. They saw me about to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't even get in yet. Like, so like, so. <laughs> so like it's it's and it's just wild to me how much of black people are being arrested, you know, collected as I like to call it, you know, for evading a fear, you know, and many other things. So that's what this that's what the chorus is, is about. Stop guessing, don't question my flow is destined. Stop arresting my brethren for your collection. Find something better than messing with folks that's better. My folks gold souls glow, we gold setters. You feel me? Find something better than messing with folks that's better. You know, find something better than messing with the chosen people, with the original people on the earth. Find something better than wasting your time putting people down who trying to get up. Like, most of the people hopping, they really ain't got nothing. You know, like, we really ain't got nothing. We are struggling to get by. You know, literally. Um, and I'm not saying it like, oh, like, let them off the hook. Struggling to get by. Like, like, it's sometimes there be cops, there be cops at the train station, and people they see they ain't got no fear, and they be like, just come through the gate. And I'm not saying they should do that to everybody and just let everybody get on for free, and that'll just put the MTA, the, the transit system, out of money. But I'm saying like, give a pass sometimes because if you could give passes to people who are not black, you could also give passes to blacks. Like, give a pass sometimes, like. And maybe change up what y'all want to be the number one leading cause of arrest. Like, whoa, like, it's a lot of crimes, like, real crimes going on. Like, you know, there's a whole bunch of other things going on on the trains, too. There's a whole bunch of other things y'all could be doing than stopping people who ain't got no money. You know? It's, I don't know. There's, I don't know. I don't know what y'all could be doing. I can't tell you what to do as a person who... You know, I can't tell the cops what to do. But I'm just saying, it's, 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 it's highly affecting, you know, the people. You know, it's highly affecting the people in my community, the people, the communities I grew up in. And it's just the jails are overpacked with us. We're overrepresented, overrepresented in the jails. And it's just annoying. So stop guessing on question. My flow is destined. Stop arresting my brother for your collection, please. And then the verse starts off with, we both know we only need to come together, brother. Like, so I'm now has shifted who I'm talking to. I'm not talking to the cops no more. I'm not talking to my people. We need to come together and realize what we could do about it. Like, what we're going to do? Like, start a carpool? Start something? I don't know. Start start a, 
start some type of unification in many ways. Not just to avoid hopping a train, but just to avoid getting arrested. Like just to avoid staying, just to avoid staying caught up within the system. You know, like just to avoid this. We we both know we only need to come together. Ain't nothing better than being better together. You feel me? Keep your presence under pressure. Don't let them ever disconnect you from your ancestors. The answer is your reflection. You feel me? Keep your presence. Keep your presence under pressure. Don't let them ever disconnect you. Meaning like, always remember who you are, even when it's hard to. Even when there are distractions, you know? Don't let them ever disconnect you from your ancestors. Always Always walk with the spirits, you know, like always, always keep your head up. Like always know that there's, there's a, I don't know, whatever you believe in, always know that there's spirits or God or the universe guiding you or whatever, the source. Always know that there is something with you. Like there's so much, there's energy that, that wants you to succeed that's walking with you. There's energy that wants you to be safe that's walking with you. And acknowledge that energy, you know, when you're walking. Like, always walk with a sense of safety and guidance, you feel me? Keep your presence under pressure. Don't let them ever disconnect you from your ancestors. The answer is your reflection, you feel me? The answer is, is reflecting on yourself, reflecting on what you want, you feel me? That's your protection and lecture to every lesson. That's your voice, your silence, your guidance for your direction. Make your best impression so karma come through with blessings. When we self-reflect, when we are... When we're walking with a sense of protection and guidance and security, we're leading ourselves to the right place. We're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not allowing our our flaws to guide us. We're allowing our reflection of our flaws to guide us because we're we're thinking about what we want to do first. We're second, we're we're thinking twice about, you know, hopping. We're thinking twice about hopping a train. We're thinking twice about stealing. We're thinking twice about doing wrong. We're thinking twice about what we're going to do to end up in jail. A lot of us are not thinking twice. A lot of us are really just going with the flow. A lot of us are like, we don't even care. It's like you talk to certain people and they don't even care. It's like, I don't care about jail. I can hold my own in there. Like, ain't nothing wrong with it. I ain't saying like, I ain't afraid of jail. We're not even caring because we're not thinking twice. We're not walking and acknowledging the ancestors. You feel me? We're not walking and acknowledging righteousness we're not acknowledging justice we're not acknowledging our integrity you feel me so like we need to acknowledge that part of ourselves is going to lead us in the right direction you know and make our best impression so karma come through with blessings you know like when we're acknowledging a part of us that's going to lead us to do right we're going to think about it and make our best impression we're going to do something that is is good for us you know because we don't want to end up somewhere we don't want to be. You know, we want karma to come through with blessings. We want karma to come through with, with goodness. We want to end up in a good place, not in jail. We want to end up in, you know, in 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 a, in a, in a place of prosperity, abundance, safety, security, balance, harmony with the good things. And that means we have to put that energy out there, you know. We can make it shine. We got the mind to shift the weather. We committing crimes because it's designed for imperfection. We can make it shine. We got the mind to shift the weather, meaning we could be what we want to be if we put our mind to it. You know? Like we, we could be whatever we want to be if we put our mind to it. So let's put our minds to what we want to be, not into what we don't. You know? You know? Let's put our minds into having an abundance amount of money to pay for whatever we need to pay for, or pay for our way, you know, we ain't got to hop no more. Let's put our minds to towards staying safe so we don't got to put ourselves into troubling situations. We committing crimes because it's designed for imperfection. Once again, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but if the cops are sitting there waiting for somebody to hop, then that's a design, you know. They could be sitting at the gate, you know, waiting for someone who needs help. And letting them through, but they instead they're, sitting, they're thinking about how they could bank off it, how they could get an arrest off of it, you know. Like so, that's a design. You feel me? It's designed for imperfection, but it's time for you and I to add the T E, unite, a party full of honest black scholars who want to see their people prosper. I said it earlier. We both know we only need to come together, brother. You feel me? Full of honest black scholars who want to see their people prosper. Who not about the dollar because they sharing 50 cent. 
who out here solving problems because they not accepting shit, who use their minds to make them rich, who use lots of common sense. God bless them. You feel me? And that's the end of the verse. You know, we need to come together. You know, we need to come together. Simple as that. We need to come together and do what we got to do. Come together for, to invest in ourselves. We need to come together and, and, and help ourselves. We need to come together and make sure that we're uplifting each other. And that takes common sense, you know. It takes us using our minds and thinking twice, you know. And then it goes back into the chorus. Stop guessing, don't question, my flow is destined. Stop arresting my brethren for your collection. Find something better than messing with folks that's better. My folks go, so's glow, we go, set us. Stop guessing, don't question, my flow is destined. Stop arresting my brethren for your collection. Find something better than fronting like you protecting. My folks go, so's glow, we go, set us. I think I said enough. If you don't know, you're about to know right now. You're about to learn. Education. Now it's time to bump that song. You feel me then? Let's go.